Niche or no niche? That is the question. What the heck does that even mean, Jessica? Yeah. Did you know, like, this is like slightly off topic to begin with, but I Googled it. Niche is actually American and niche is European. Oh, so we should say niche because it's more classy? Well, no, we're not European. We're yeah, American. but, oh. Niche. I was just trying to be cool. Niche. I've never worked when I try to be cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes out bad. It just comes out bad. I am so smooth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but niche, to niche or not to niche? Um, I say yes. I think 100, 1,000% if you're just getting your business going or not quite where you want to be, you need to niche. I was going to say the opposite. Oh, who yeah. should go first on their reasoning? Okay, you go. Okay. I'll so see if you change my mind by then. All right, let's see if I change <laughs> your mind. When you go broad, mm-hmm. it's very hard to get attention because if you're trying to make something for everybody, it can just miss the mark completely. Whereas when you niche down, you can make a very specific message to a very specific subset of people. So when they hear that, it's like, Boom. It's almost like a dog whistle to them. They're, boop, they just dialed in. Yeah. So then once you have a following for that niche and you've created success and you have funds, you have time, you have a team, you have resources, then you can start to broaden your niche into other niches. So let's say for us, we love doing VA. Mm-hmm. So a lot of our content has been around VA, which means we attract a lot of VA people. It's probably our best performing content that I personally put out. But then we've branched into doing things about refinancing conventional, about optimizing your credit. We've done things on down payment assistance in the past. We've done things on FHA. We've done things on, I'm trying to think what else we've done, but we've done so many things. And from what, from the, from my data, the more broad the message, the less results it's generated. Yes. So that's my reasoning to niche. Um... Okay. So we did, you know, we did focus a lot on VA and FHA, especially when we first started out, we were doing a lot of low score stuff that the banks couldn't do. And that was like our bread and butter. And then COVID happened and things changed. But I kind of feel like if you're just starting out in the industry to, because it is broad, you can at least bring in more business that way. And then once you have things under your belt, then you can be like, I am the construction master or I am, you know, and then I would get, especially if you really enjoy doing something, you want to do construction, go do construction. You want to do DSCR, really get into that. You want to be down payment, you be the Guess down what? payment guy. Like usual, we're both right. And you want to know why? Why? Because. I'm always right. So <laughs> <laughs> You're saying niching is important, but you go broad because you don't know what you like and you don't know what you're good at. So it's for people that don't have a direction. And you don't have a database yet. You don't have, when you're new, you don't have a list of realtors that know you and know that you're good at this one thing. So to just be starting out and saying, hey, I'm just going to do whatever comes my way and I'll figure it out. Not only are you learning, but that's when you figure out what you enjoy doing. Because I was so scared of VA. I cried multiple times my first VA loan. And then it became my favorite thing that I've ever done. I wouldn't have, if you would have told me at the beginning to pick, I would have said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm uncomfortable with it. So I think you're right, but you also are kind of missing some of it, which is even if you do niche down, you're still going to get people outside of that niche that say, hey, can you help me with A? Can you help me with B? So you will get overflow. But I do agree with you. If somebody is new or they're kind of like rebranding, restructuring, and they don't know where they should focus, then a shotgun approach is a great a great way to figure out what they want to do. Yeah. So if they don't know what they want to do, they don't know what they want to focus on, then when you're making content or you're putting information or you're calling people, have it broad, have it all over the place, have it about everything, and then just see what comes in naturally yeah what you enjoy doing what makes you the happiest what is the easiest to get done like you have to factor all of those things in and then you can say okay i love this i want to go in i'd love to see the numbers on somebody that you know like i know a realtor that only does um like two to four plexes that's all that he does 
is multifamily. And like, that's what he's known for. So I'd like to see how much business he does being, you know, so niche down Mm -hmm. versus if he was but here's more what, broad. It, there's a lot of factors that go into that though. His numbers might be less, but what if like the units, but what if his actual commissions are higher because the price point's higher? And what if he does less work? So he's spending less time because it is so niche Yeah. that when deals come to him, it's almost like a, like a lay down, like he's the guy. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of factors when you go into this. So that's why personally, I think as soon as you can find a, a niche, lean in. 80% into that. Like you don't have to sleep on all the other stuff and just not do it at all. And be like, I'm not doing that. Some, you can go that far, Yeah. but you could do like 80% towards what you want to focus on and what you want people to know you for. And then 20% is just general stuff. But by and large, if you look at across all industries and all things that you see marketing wise or branding wise, the ones you remember, aren't they like hyper, hyper, hyper targeted? Yeah. It's just, that's what you, cause you know, like and you may never use them, but you know exactly what they do. Yeah. Place that we don't necessarily, what's, what can I say? <laughs> Let me just say, I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying veterans United. <laughs> very, 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 very niche. Yeah. They do very, very well. Do they do good work? No, that's, that's, oh. <laughs> it's up to you at sorry. home to decide what they do. Well, there are other loan officers, and I'm sorry if you work for Veterans United, you're not doing marketing. That's just this All right, is well, a marketing. Let's not thing. go into. They're to, not. You're. They're not doing marketing. They're. They're not listening to us for marketing. Right, but I'm just saying that the way that they do business may not be the way that we do business, but the way they niche is extremely smart. Yeah, it may not be the most advantageous place for veterans to go to to get the best deal and be taken care of you're so politically correct i mean you know you know me <laughs> but that's just one example that a lot of people watching this would get yeah but there's a lot more like um what is it um pet smart i think that was a brand you know and there's a their pet co is another one mm-hmm. they could just be walmart but they're specific to pets, pets. Yes. and so you know like that's the pet place mm-hmm. that that's hyper 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 niche and so yes. we can do that in in our space too it's like i do million dollar plus properties i do condos on the beach i do starter homes i do i help veterans i feel like we're still not like a really clear answer it's like, yes, but it's not because it's not like all of our branding is around VA loans. Right. But a lot of it is. Yes. Maybe we need to lean in harder. Maybe we do. All right. Actually, that is a direction that I would really like to go in more. Well, let's do it. Okay. Man, we are just like coming up with all kinds. Of, like we're, we're answering our own questions on these podcasts. We're like solving our own problems. Got to talk it out. Sometimes you just but have to talk it out. You, I think you always have to talk it out because otherwise, you, you especially me, I think too much. And in this format, I can't ADD as much. That's true. So you get me like focused. Focused. This is one of the rare Ten times. Ten minutes at a time. This is one of the rare times in life that I have laser focus. I should do this when, um, oh, oh my gosh, that's what I'm going to do when we need to talk about like finances or something. We're going to put it on a podcast. Don't buy anything on Amazon anymore. <laughs> is that new camera coming in? Is it no? Are you serious? <laughs> I'll be so mad. How many cameras does one man need? Really? You really bought another one? No, I didn't. Okay. Not yet. I, don't I would anymore, like, see, our, 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 our wide camera here is my cell phone and I would like to turn that into we already bought actual... some stupid clip on it that was never on it before so it was like five bucks okay off topic 20 bucks back on topic <laughs> this is our life okay we should just have people follow us around and how we bicker at each other and have i make you laugh you do is it is it laughter <laughs> out of like <laughs> because I'm, out of I'm pain is it painful I'm sad. <laughs> oh, god. oh god trying to just laugh through the pain <laughs> yeah my coping mechanism <laughs> could be 
What are we even talking about? Niche. Niche. Yeah. So you say broad to start. I say niche. But basically, you should find your you should find what you really want to do and lean in. Yeah. I think that that's how you'll find what you really want to do. So there you go. You if can, you're new you, and you don't know what you want to do. And that's like part of the whole thing is like we've gone back and forth and we we're like, oh, maybe we should focus on DSCR. Maybe we should be doing this. And time and time again, we go back to where we started. Because we get, I we have it. the most passion around it. We yes, have the most knowledge the around most it. Passion. We knowledge. enjoy when those when people you see are excited to learn. I mean, in this industry, you have to continue to learn, and you have to be passionate about what you're doing. And there's a lot of stuff that I don't want to learn. I don't want to learn how to do a construction loan. I don't want to do it, and so I'm not going to. I will focus on VA because that's what I enjoy. Now, if you love construction. Go do some construction. Go learn everything that you can about it and go crush that marketing and you get make sure that every realtor that you know knows that that's what your jam is. Yeah. There you go. There we go. So that's it. If we didn't lose you with the... Uh, tangents. Tangents. We're kind of tangenty during this session of filming. It so is. That's a little hopefully it was somewhat entertaining while we tangent, but um, there you have it is maybe go broad, but the whole goal is to find your niche, lean in, Put 80% or more of your effort towards that niche so that you are known for that. You stand out for that yep. because it's better to be known for one thing than to be not known for everything. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So make sure that if you would like any help with your marketing to go to thelocode.com. We have a bunch of free stuff on there. Um, and gear page, we're talking about Amazon. I, we always add more things on there that yeah. I, I buy everything. Yeah. Like we just swapped out a really expensive mic that was like $400 for one that we think is just as awesome for like 50. So when we find new things, we're constantly testing things out. We're finding what is the best and what will save you the most money. Yeah. So there you go. Well, thanks for watching this one and we'll see you on the next one.